never mind that. Uh, I'll give you the, the, the way I play it, and I hope, it's, um, I hope it works for you. There are a few different ways to do it. Lady Madonna starts on the A bass down here. You can't see it, but it's an A bass, A octave. And it follows this pattern. Here's how it goes, it's an octave lower. In other words, it plays separate, fifth and thumb, then together, octave, C, C sharp, then alternate again on the D. So watch. But it's down here. So A, C, C sharp, D. Again, alternating for the A and the D only. Together, alternate finger and thumb. Now for the last part. Alternate all the way up from the D to the E to the F to the G back to the A together. Right hand. Take some practice is all. I do it. It starts on an A and I play A, E, C sharp, but the thumb is going to play the melody. The lower part of the song is going to be, the, of the chord is the melody. It goes. Hard to do slow, slowly. just the thumb. Now you add the chords in the right hand. Again. And I'm playing this. A, E, C sharp. Now I come down to the C. Same two notes up here. E, A. Now for So this goes like this, and I apologize if this is confusing. I'm playing the A for the... Now we switch over to the D, which is A, F sharp, D, and then B, A. to here. When we get to this part, it's to the A, A, D, F sharp, A, D in the bass, to an E, A, E, A, with an E in the bass, A, F, A in the right, F in the bass, G in the bass with B, D, A, to an A chord in the right, which is C sharp E A. So here's the whole thing. I will try to do it slowly. And sped up. That's helpful. Now when we get to the middle part, which is Tuesday afternoon is never ending. It starts on a D minor. We're just gonna uh, we're gonna do uh, just alternating uh, um, octaves again, from the D to the C in the left hand to the B. Now you're gonna run out of room down here. So here's how you do it. Gonna play. 
to the G down here, and I'll show you the right hand in a minute. Once you get to the G, come up here to the F. So go down to the G, come up to the F. In the right hand, it's a D minor 7, F, D, C, A. Now when you get to the G, it's going to be a G7, F, D, B, G. So again, on the left hand, D minor 7, going down to the G, when you hit the G, change to a G7, come back up to the F so you don't run out of room, keep that G7, now we come down to the C, E, C, G, the left hand is going to go down to a B, down to an A, down to a G, keep the same thing in the right hand. Now come back up when you get to the G, gonna come back up to an A. E, uh, C, A, G in the right hand becomes an A minor seven. To a B in the left, to a C, to an E. So here's what you have. beat, you have to just kind of practice it and follow along with the words. Like that. Now we start again on the D minor 7, same one we did before. To the G7. Now see how they run. It's a C, C octave in the bass, G, C, E in the right, C in the lyrics. Now how is a B minor 7? So you come up here, B, F sharp, A in the right, in the left rather, B, D, F sharp, A in the right. So C, C, now the word how, B minor 7, they now run is uh, E in the left, bass, A, B, E, which is a suspended chord. A on the first beat, G sharp on the second beat. You can add the D too because it makes it an E7. So you have C. Actually keep the D in there the whole time. to the way it was before. Then there's an instrumental part and you're welcome to mess around with that if you like or just play the intro right there where the instrumental was. afternoon is never ending same thing and it uh, keeps going until the end and there's a there's a an, the ending is a little bit different when it gets to this part uh, <clears throat> ends meet it's gonna go which is when you get to the word meet you're already gonna be on the A a bass in the left, C sharp, E, A in the right. Now you're just going to move up one. B bass in the left, D, F sharp, B in the right. That's a B minor, of course. To a C minor, which is C bass, C octave in the bass, D sharp, or E flat, uh, G, C. Twice, of course. Now just come back down. Same chord before, B minor. here if you want. And all that is is, I took the uh, C sharp that I played down here, I moved this thumb up to the fifth finger, so I did this. E, G, E, A, C sharp in the right. Uh, F sharp, B, D in the right. G, C, 
uh, E flat in the left, in the right. It's just an inverted chord, so. That's how it is.